Are we going to get a Brexit breakthrough then in the next few days? I heard uh, Jeffrey Cox and others talking about working through the weekend. I suppose anticipation is uh, at fever pitch in Brussels. It depends what you mean by breakthrough, really. I think they're going to come up with something. But I think we should also be clear that it's probably going to be far, far, far less interesting than the uh, MPs, particularly the pro-Brexit MPs back in London, really want. Will it be enough to swing the deal? People in Brussels think it probably won't be. So the next question is, where do we go from there? You can see in what Theresa May is planning to say in her speech later today that she's beginning to shift the responsibility back onto the EU to tell them it's your responsibility to come up with something because I think both sides realise that they're really far, far apart in their expectations of what a breakthrough can be. And what is Theresa May likely to say today then, Ian, when she speaks? And, and how is that likely to be received in Brussels? Do we know much about what her pitch is going to be? Yeah, I mean, she's going to tell them that it's really the, up to the EU now to make concessions because she's going to say the UK has done all that it can and the EU needs to show some flexibility. Now, this kind of message kind of harks back to the early days of the Brexit negotiations where the UK was saying we're the powerful ones, we'll get what we want, it's up to the EU to give us. The trouble is this kind of bullying talk. It might play well to a domestic audience, but it really doesn't go down very well in Brussels and across the EU who say, well, it's not up to us. You're the one who chose Brexit. You're the one who decided to leave the EU. We've made our red lines very clear from the start. It's not for up to us to bear that responsibility and to give you things. And I'm afraid that even on International Women's Day, I don't think Theresa May is going to get what she wants.